So, um, if you're playing with your middle finger as your <coughs> striking note, try keeping your index finger kind of loosely pointed outwards rather than curled over with the rest. That should help you <coughs> strike more cleanly because otherwise the index <coughs> is going to get in the way, I think. So I'd stick with that kind of shape. A loose point. As to arm position, the thing about you don't want to be the tendency is to be have your uh, forearm parallel to the head and then having to bend your wrist backwards to get to the strings. Consequently, you end up playing out of your fingers. Whereas what you want to be doing is having your wrist bent the other way, which involves having your arm, your forearm, sat on the banjo here, such that if you lay your hand flat across the head, it's going too far, so you have to cock your wrist in order to be over the strings, <coughs> so that when you're playing, you have to kind of pivot off this side of the banjo so that you're playing down into the strings like that rather than sideways to them like that. So your brush is struck into the strings and it's a kind of a sharp strike across all the strings. It's not like a, a really clangy, heavy thing. It's quick and sharp rather than hard. And then you can just practice your bum diddies just by <coughs> just, just bum diddying on the open third string. Tap your foot on the beat on the bum. speed with your left hand movement, you try these exercises that we were looking at. So first <coughs> doing pull-offs on bum diddies on the high string and going for every bum diddy go second fret, fifth fret, second fret, seventh fret and do that as slowly as you need to in rhythm to be able to make those changes. <coughs> just to really exaggerate how far you have to move your hand so you get used to moving again, moving in rhythm. slides. So slide up two to five, three bum diddies there, and then slide up two to seven and three bum diddies there. So all about 
about how about practicing getting back here. Yeah, the, the long slide feels weird, but really what you're practicing is getting back to the two to come back up on, in time. So again, <coughs> slow it down as much as you need to. to whatever fret you want, as long as you know what fret you're supposed to be aiming for. So you could do up to the 12 or to the, or to the 9.